So guys, you're teaching authentic leadership on the program. Um, my first question is, given that everyone's in a leadership position already on the program, how do they take being told that they don't know everything there is to know about leadership, that maybe they need to improve their styles? Or... Well, I think um, your question is making an assumption that there are things called leadership positions. Mm -hmm. There are just hierarchies. And um, having a fancy job title, being a senior vice president or an executive vice president doesn't make you a leader. Mm -hmm. It's just another notch up the Byzantine structure of organizations. So even people who've got fancy job titles and are already quite senior in their organizations are fascinated by the question, why should anyone be led by you? Mm -hmm. Because the, the question is phrased in a way that means the answer must be something about you. By the way, the, the reason why authenticity is critical to this is that trust levels in the Western world are at low levels. We don't trust our bankers, we don't trust our lawyers, we don't trust our accountants, and increasingly we don't trust our business leaders. So authenticity is an idea whose time has come. People want to be led by a real person who they can trust. So that effective leadership rests upon a set of leadership skills. So for example, the ability to situation sense, the ability to know what's going on, to collect soft information. Mm -hmm. The ability to get close in order to find out what's going on. And the ability to get distant, often to confront performance issues.